And welcome back. China-based Lens Magazine exposed a side of China's labor camps that has shocked the Chinese public, so much so that authorities in northeastern China's Liaoning province have said they will investigate the notorious Ma Sanjia labor camp. Does this mean authorities now are serious about reforming labor camps? Not according to former inmates who say police are now trying to silence them. Ma Sanjia labor camp has been in the headlines recently for its abusive treatment of the inmates there. But even before a detailed report on the camp situation made headlines on April 6, Chinese leaders were already considering reforming the controversial penal system. At least, that's what they said. Liaoning province, where Masanja is located, has mobilized a team of investigators to look into the torture claims. This former inmate at Masanja applied to be on the team of investigators, but she says she was denied and thinks she knows why. There was a secret order that the investigation should be quickly wrapped up, and it should try to redirect public opinion about the torture in Mansanja to prevent so-called overseas forces from tarnishing the image of the Communist Party. Zhu was talking about the secret order. It surfaced on Chinese internet over the weekend. The order was issued by this man, Zhang Qiaoyin, the newly appointed head of Liaoning's labor camp system. Zhang is one of the officials leading the investigation into Masanja. The problem is, he used to be the director of the camp. Zhang has spent much of the past decade at Masanja. All of the torture that happened there happened under his watch. Now he's in charge of this investigation team? What else is he meant to do aside from cover up what happened? This theory supports what happened to Li Wenjuan. The former taxation officer was tortured at Masanja in 2006. On Saturday, she tried to sign up to be on the investigation team. Liaoning authorities had invited citizens to join and said it would make its findings public. But instead, Li said police hounded her home for a whole day. Li told NTD she's now too scared to speak up. China-based Lens Magazine was the first mainland media to report about the systematic abuses in Chinese labor camps. Li says Liaoning police are now looking for others mentioned by the magazine, trying to make them sign a guarantee not to talk about what happened.